Welcome to International Securities Exchange's podcast series, facilitated by renowned educators. ISE podcasts are intended to teach beginning as well as seasoned investors the ins and outs of trading. To find an updated list of podcasts, please visit www.isc.com slash podcasts. Please be sure to listen to our important message following this episode regarding the risks of investing in exchange-traded options. All right, so what we have left here is how can you use a butterfly as a cheap alternative to calls or puts uh, and also roll that into a volatility play. And what we have here is uh, buying out of money calls. Now, for the sake of fairness, um, the examples that I was using before, they could be easily applied to most of the, um, uh, to several FX option underlines or even equity underlines with narrow strikes. This example um, is more suited towards an equity, but I thought it was relevant, so I kept it into this presentation. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of you know, make that known. I realize most underlying uh, currencies are not going to move from 158 to 180 in two months. So, uh, so let's take a look here at the math. Let's say you think uh, the stock or the underlying can go up significantly in the next two months, move from 158 to 180. Very, very bullish here. One thing you can do is buy 10 out of the money calls, uh, the 170 calls for a $6.80 debit. Uh, that would cost you approximately $7,000, including commissions. If you are correct, at expiration, those 170 calls will become worth 10 bucks, and uh, that would give you a net profit of 320, and so that would be a nice profit uh, at the end of the day of uh, about $3,000. Let's look at another scenario on slide 32. Same outlook. Right? But here, instead of just buying 10 of the 170 calls, on top of that, you're going to sell 20 of the 180 calls, which corresponds to the target price that you have of 180 in your forecast. And you're also going to buy 10 of the 190 calls. This is a long butterfly spread, but the difference here is this is an out-of-the-money spread. Why is it out-of-the-money? Because the the, the uh, options you're selling, that 180 strike, that is out of the money relevant relative to uh, where the underlying is today, which is 158. You can do all of that for a dollar, a dollar debit, and that would be your maximum risk. If you are correct, as in the previous uh, example, and the, the, the underlying moves up to 180, that call fly uh, would become worth ten dollars. All right, um, you paid a dollar for it, and that would give you a net profit of nine dollars per butterfly spread. Uh, if you did ten of those, that would be just under nine thousand dollars when you include commissions, which would be a pretty uh, handsome sum. On on slide thirty three, we talk about the pros and the cons of doing this. Okay, so let's look at the long call first. If you buy the long call by itself, what do you have? You have unlimited profit potential. Um, you only have to deal with one option, so that's one commission and one bid-ask spread to contend with when getting in and out of the trade. You know, the, you have to consider all the costs and all the maneuvers for your strategy when trading. So uh, this is definitely one that is a, an advantage here. On the cons, though, for buying just the long call by itself, you do have higher risk. You're talking about putting up risk of $7,000 uh, when buying 10 contracts. As time passes, it will decrease the value of your call. That is the, the natural behavior of options to decay as time passes, as each day moves on. And the, the other thing that comes into play here is that as underlyings move up, uh, implied volatility of the options based on that underlying tends to decrease and that further reduces the value of that option that you would own if you just bought the long call by itself. On slide 34, we talk about the pros and cons of the call fly. 
and what you have here is uh, the pro here is that it's much lower risk. Uh, a per contract basis is only one dollar versus close to seven dollars in buying the call outright by itself. Um, you still have a high reward, right? You can still make nine dollars on that trade. Uh, nine times my investment, that's, I would consider that pretty significant, even though it's not un theoretically unlimited. You know, you, you want to look at what's actually practical, and uh, as we know, stocks do not just go up in, uh, in an unlimited fashion. Uh, another benefit here is that this trade actually benefits from the passage of time, unlike the long call does. And it also benefits from a decrease in implied volatility because you're selling twice as many of the 180 calls than you are buying the 170 or the 190 calls. On the downside, though, this trade does have limited profit potential. It has a narrower profit range, so the likelihood of you hitting the home run and making that $9 is very low. However, you do have a pretty good chance possibly of making something on your $1 investment, um, you know, but that all depends on the marketplace and, you know, what the environment is for that specific trade. Um, and then finally, because you're trading a butterfly, you have three commissions and three bid S spreads to contend with for that trade. Um, so you need to evaluate all these different, these different characteristics uh, and see what works for you when making your trades and if you're really bullish on a particular underline. Just uh, want to summarize here something that's really critical uh, when you're trading FX options. Uh, you know, these involve specific consideration to GDP of not only uh, the U.S., but also the currency you're trading it, it you know, because you're always making a play as to one currency is increasing as the other currency is decreasing. There's always that relationship. And you all are looking at things that impact that, such as GDP, interest rates of both countries, uh, the international trade environment, you know, what's going on uh, in, that, in, in that country, unemployment, you know, uh, is there any political turmoil, is there inflation, you know, what are the big picture items, you know, which is much, much different than if you're trading an equity option where the, the most of the focuses on, um, you know, earnings and so on. You know, there's a lot more to consider with FX options. Um, I believe on slide 37, 38, and 39, I've just listed here several of the questions that I received uh, in the past when talking about butterflies. I wanted to include them here, but uh, at this time, we, you know, I can open it up for any questions that anyone might have, and, uh, you know, just uh, really want to thank everyone for uh, uh, their patience in dealing with the technical difficulties. I hope you're still able to come away with uh, some meaningful lessons here about butterflies, and uh, if there's any questions or anything I can help you with, please contact me at webinars at tradeking.com. My name is Nicole Wax, and it's been my pleasure to be with you today. Nicole, thank you so much. My apologies that we had problems with WebEx, and uh, most of the attendees hung in there, so that's really uh, just a testament of how interested they were in butterflies and the idea of basically looking at hedging risk in a certain way as you went through. Lots of ways to trade options, and butterflies might be one way that uh, some traders slash investors can uh, implement their forecasts with uh, limited risk. So let's take a look and see if there are any other questions. Um, trying to see if there are. Uh, question here from Tina. I, maybe you handle this, I'm not certain. Is it more difficult to get into a butterfly than a single like a call option or put option, Nicole, in your humble opinion? Uh, I mean, it has more working parts, so I would say it is more difficult. I wouldn't say a lot. I mean, once you understand the trade, which is the most important aspect here, um, you know, you can trade a butterfly spread on trading just as fast as you can trade uh, an individual call or put. I mean, pretty close to just as fast. There might be, you know, two extra clicks on the same page, but pretty much it's, it's fairly straightforward. 
Uh, but the, the more important issue is you got to understand what you're trading no matter what. That's the main thing. Very good point. Uh, Azim has a question. He says, what is the best way to exit this butterfly, or do you hold on to expiration? What's your view there, Nicole? Um, that's a great question. I'm really glad somebody asked. Uh, it's similar, actually, to David's question about, you know, why not hang in till the end and, and make the 2,500, um, which was the maximum in that example. Uh, the best way, really, is to exit the butterfly in its entirety. Um, the, it really depends, though, on where the underlying is when you're getting out. Um, if uh, the underlying is close to the at-the-money strike, uh, as you approach expiration, but you're still, say, a couple weeks out, then you would exit the whole spread uh, and just close out everything. You would sell it as a butterfly just as you got into the trade as a butterfly in that case. Um, I would not usually hold through to expiration um, if I entered the trade as a butterfly because the likelihood of making that gain uh, in going through the, the very uh, unexpected period of options towards expiration is just unlikely. So I'd rather take like a 30 to 50% return, which is common. It is very possible on a butterfly trade of making 30 to 50% on a trade in a few weeks' time. Um, I'd rather take that than trying to make, you know, 900% um, in the last week and lose everything. Um, you know, the issue is, though, that the butterfly spread is a, is a smaller uh, dollar amount that you can make, and so uh, that's definitely, you know, people kind of shy away, but you got to really look at the percentage, the return on investment there. That's, that's the critical factor. That makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, it looks like we've run through all the questions, Nicole. Uh, I'd like to give you um, just a moment or two for any closing comments that you might have? Sure. Um, you know, I just, uh, one of the questions that we get about butterflies often is, uh, well, you know, the downside of uh, butterflies is the narrow profit range. Um, you know, if I make the strikes wider, will, will that improve that profit range? Uh, and it will. It will improve the profit range. It will improve your probability of success. The difference is, though, that the amount of risk you're taking on will increase, um, and uh, the debit that you pay will be right there along with it will also go up and, and increase, so it'll be a more expensive trade to put on. So it's always a balancing act of, uh, you know, risk and reward with options, and uh, it's no different with the butterfly trade. Um, if you have any questions at all about uh, anything options related, or uh, we also trade stocks at Trade King, eat, you know, and, and so on, and other equity products and bonds as well, you know, please contact us at webinars at TradeKing.com or visit us at TradeKing.com slash education. Uh, and, uh, you know, my name is Nicole Wax. I handle education for Trade King. And uh, if you have anything you'd like to see uh, from us, you know, I'd be happy to see if we can meet that need. And thanks very much for having me with you today. Nicole, thank you so much. Really appreciate it, uh, especially under these difficult technical issues. Uh, but you were just a champ that you were able to <laughs> sustain through that. So that was a difficult one. But thanks so much. Looking forward to you coming back, and uh, hopefully we're having uh, that we won't have any technical issues. But thanks again, Nicole. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Steve. Take care, Nicole. That was Nicole Walks from Trade King. And if you're interested in learning more about what Trade King has to offer, let me just go back. Um, they have webinars, and you can get a copy of uh, the presentation at webinars at TradeKing.com. And they have, uh, Nicole, are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, yeah, if you'd like to go through your webinars, that'd be great. You could um, just talk a little bit about your webinars there today or the, or the upcoming webinars, I should say. Sure. Uh, we have our webinars every Tuesday at 5 p.m. Uh, you can access them by going to webinars.tradeking.com. And uh, today's uh, session will be by Michael Kahn, uh, and he will be handling basic chart patterns, everyone should know. 
Uh, next Tuesday, we will have income strategies. Actually, next Tuesday event has changed uh, due to a scheduling conflict. I will actually be presenting on uh, some trader, trader lingo basics uh, on February 22nd. And then on February 24th, we will have uh, a special Rookies Corner, which is our beginner session on cover calls and the risks. Sounds like a great lineup, Nicole. Thank you. Nicole, thanks so much, and I look forward to you coming back real soon. Just want to remind everyone that we have another webinar coming up at the ISC. So uh, please join us for Dan Passarelli. Dan will be talking about setting up option strategies using ETFs, and that's going to occur in just 30 minutes. So please join us there. And next week we have other webinars. You can sign up uh, to the ISC, www.isc.com, and we have all the webinars there. So I want to thank all of oh, – first of all, I want to thank Nicole Watts. Nicole, thanks so much. I want to thank all the attendees for attending and for hanging in when we had such uh, difficult uh, technical issues. Hopefully that won't occur again. Thanks again. And you can come back and listen to the whole presentation, www.isc.com forward slash webinars, or you can go to www.isc.com forward slash archives. Either way, you can get the uh, presentation. So please join us again in just 30 minutes. You have to just log out and log back in, and Dan Passarelli will be talking about setting up option strategies using ETFs. So thanks again for joining us, and please come back either at Dan's session in a half hour or for next week's sessions. Thanks so much. On behalf of the IEC, Steve Meisinger wishing you a safe and happy trading day tomorrow. Bye, all. Thank you for listening to our podcast. To find more podcasts on options, stocks, alternative markets, and market data, please visit www.isc.com slash podcasts.